Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a power racket from Wilson that they re just resurrected. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So today, I'm going to be talking about the Wilson Triad 3 that they just brought back out for you, too. So power, yet control, yet dampening. So a great combination of all three in this racket. This racket clocks in at 9.7 ounces, and that's strong. Um, Six-point headlight, that's strong. So that makes this racket, you know, pretty powerful, right? Well, with the 115-square-inch head, will help some, too. Um, the beam, though, is what's going to make this stiff and powerful. It's actually a 26, a 30, and a 26. So that 30 over here definitely stiffens up this racket uh, to basically make it powerful. If the racket is stiff, the strings have got to work because the racket's not bending as much. Uh, but the place that you will get some bend are these pads. That's why they call it the triad. Pad here, pad here, and there's also a pad here. So connected in three spots with pads to help flex this racket and dampen the shock. Now, when they put this up on a RA machine, which is, which measures flex, it comes out super low. Uh, it comes out at a 30, right? It comes out at a 30 because of these pads, because it actually allows it to bend some. But if you've ever played with any triad racket, uh, you would know that it's actually pretty stiff. It's just a very comfortable stiff racket. All right. It clocks it. Well, the head size is also 115 square inches. So it's got a big head. Power is the name of the game still. 27 and a half inches, extra half inch here equals power. Thir 113 square inches on the head equals power. So remember what I said, 30, uh, 30 millimeters on the sides here equals the power. So only, the only point that you will get control is from these pads here where it flexes. Um, and that's why it comes out at 30 because it's flexing. But if you took that out of the equation, it would be a very stiff, powerful racket. All right. And this has been an oldie, but definitely a goodie uh, in Wilson's line for close to 20 years. So I'm going to take this racket out and hit with my man, Coach Rob, and uh, see what he thinks, and we'll do a review on the court. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so on the court, got my man, Coach Rob, with me, and we're going to test out this new, new old uh, Triad 3. All right, so we just finished hitting with that triad three. Coach Rob, what'd you think? I, I liked it. It was easy to move, had lots of power. Um, I noticed it was longer uh, here. And first thing that came to mind was for people that maybe get a little too close to the ball. You probably know who you are. You like to wear the ball, wear your strings out down here. Um, having this be longer, that may be a benefit to you because you're still going to be able to um, get some power and feel like you're um, catching it pretty clean. 
even if it's a little closer to you than it should be. Um, but yeah, really lightweight, maneuverable, really easy to play with. Um, highly recommend it for somebody looking for uh, a little bit of power and lightweight um, maneuverable racket. Let's let's not forget though. So this is this is a half inch longer racket. But like what Coach Rob said, if you are one of those people who wear out your strings right here, down here, get jammed all the time, this would probably be a good option for you because, because of this elongated head, right? Your sweet spot also gets elongated. So, I mean, ideally you want to hit it here, but if you hit it here, you're still going to get power from this racket. Uh, plus, you probably won't get tennis elbow because of this bracing system that'll help dampen that shock so your arm doesn't fall off after you're done with other rackets. So, um, again, the triad system is makes, makes this racket a very flexible racket. But because of the structure and the wide bodiness of this frame is what's going to give you the power, right? So, head heavy, light overall. What does that remind you of? Hammer. Right. So it's kind of hammer time again, right? BLX, BLX, Triad 3, kind of a hammer racket for you. Um, how did that serve in that volley and all that feel, Rob? Uh, it felt good, um, especially knowing it was a little bit longer. I tossed the ball a tad higher and was able to reach up and get a little more snap on it. And uh, came in, it was playable at the net with the volleys. Uh, had good control with it. Didn't have to do a lot because it, uh, it's a little stiffer racket than uh, I might be used to playing with. So I just put the racket out there and it did its thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? Just do, put your racket out, let the racket help you. That's what a racket like this is for. That's why they call it a game improvement racket because it'll automatically improve your game as long as you can get the ball in the strings. All right, so I like this racket a lot. I mean, I could easily use this racket um, it, there, it is a lot of power, so I do have to worry about not swinging out so much. But, you know, for just messing around, maybe a little dubs here and there that I don't really like, this might work, you know. Uh, so that's the Wilson Triad 3, the Resurrected 3 in this cool blue color. All right, I want to thank Coach Rob for hanging out with me today. And I want to thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.